Titans head coach Mike Vrabel is here at the NFL owners meetings. Coach, not your first rodeo here at the owners meetings. What's different about it now as a veteran coach? Well, being able to add the role of, uh, you know, competition committee has been really exciting. I've really enjoyed, you know, trying to help uh, throughout that process. Um, you know, I think you just understand how the meetings go a little bit. And so uh, the experience um, has been great. You know, it's been great to hear from other organizations and, and these are important meetings. Now the competition committee is something that has been talked about all off season, mainly because of overtime rules. Something was passed today ensuring that both teams will have the option during the postseason yep. to have a possession of the ball during overtime. What were those conversations like and why was ultimately it decided uh, that that was so it, important? You know, I think the numbers have just gotten too strong for the, 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 the winner of the coin toss. Um, or, or let me just rephrase that, who takes possession first, um, you know, in the postseason. You know, those, those numbers are pretty glaring. Um, and I think that the commitment that we make to, to offensive players, quarterbacks specifically, you know, is something that, uh, you know, I think that our fans want to see those players help determine the, the outcome. Uh, which, which most of those times the best quarterbacks are in the playoffs. So I think that's something that's important to, to start with and, and make sure that, that we give each quarterback and give each offense an opportunity to possess the football and you know, we'll go from there. The, the, every, the, every system there's going to be you know, questions with, but I think this is a good start. Having an off season under your belt now of being on the competition committee, has that experience for you changed the way that you perceive either the way that the rules are established or the way that you maybe teach the game to your team now? I, well, I think it helps to understand the clarifications and officiating, you know, and try to help with that process. Um, very, very intrigued by the, the player safety and welfare. You know, you, you've heard us talk numerous times about there's nothing more important than the health of our team and, you know, using the data you know to try to help the way that we schedule practice or ramp up and uh, what we may do with our, our headgear and the, the data with the guardian cap and how that could help you know reduce uh, helmet contacts amongst offensive and defensive linemen at the line of scrimmage so you know there is some things that um, you know, we've focused on and talked about that, that hopefully I can I can use to, to help our team as we've been going through free agency, whether it's guys who have been affiliated with this team for a while, like a Ben Jones, Harold Landry, or some of the new guys like Austin Hooper, Robert Woods, all have talked about how they're excited to play for you and there is such a strong reputation of this team throughout the National Football League. And a lot of that comes back to the style of coaching and the way that you interact with men. Has that been what you've been trying to establish all along, is that credibility within not only the Tennessee Titans locker room, but within the National Football League? Well, it's, you know, it's nice to be respected throughout the league as an organization, which I think we are. Obviously, that starts with Amy, uh, John, his staff, uh, our coaching staff. Um, I, I think that in order to do this job, you have to make a connection. You have to be able to lead. You have to be able to make tough decisions. You have to be able to hold people accountable. Um, but if you do it and you're honest and you're direct with them, I think that they respect that. Um, but, but making a connection uh, is critical. And then that will allow you to do all those things that you know, sometimes aren't um, you know, always easy. We've made it through the first wave of free agency, we'll say. How pleased are you with what the Titans have been able to accomplish? And then what are you looking forward to as we continue through the offseason? Yeah, we feel like you know, we've added um, you know, pieces that, that will allow us to go into this draft and you know, evaluate the best player. You know, I think we've added you know, different spots along the offensive line, you know, obviously tight end, wide receiver, some running backs back with some guys back on on defense and special teams, added some new faces on special teams. So, um, you know, excited where we are, excited what those, those guys can bring to, to our football team and, you know, try to um, acclimate themselves to, to our culture and, and continue to strengthen it. You mentioned that the culture is not just the coaching staff, it's everybody who's associated with putting this team together. How much of that, though, is a reflection of Amy Adams Strunk and her vision for this organization as a whole. It's it's perfect alignment. You know, she she grew up in this game, and uh, it's it was family. It's family owned um, uh, with her and her family. 
And so that's what we want to recreate. We want to recreate that sense uh, with our coaches and our players. And, and again, that's not always uh, perfect. And then there's disagreements and there's arguments. We know that amongst players and coaches and, and, and coaches and coaches. So it just, there's, there, but there is a sense of family that we really value here. And not only is that within the coaches, but also within the players in the locker room. And we see right. trying to keep those players together throughout free agency and then adding to players who really fit that locker room kind of chemistry. Yeah, they're going to have disagreements in there. You hear the arguing and, and you've, you've, you've heard those guys argue on the sidelines like brothers. And um, you know, that, that's really that what we want to try to create is just an atmosphere that uh, you know, no job is too small and everybody's willing to do whatever it takes for, for the team. Mike Vrabel, the off-season program starts in a couple weeks. It does. How excited are you to be able to start working with this team again, really getting your hands on these players and start forming the 2022 Tennessee Titans? Yeah, coaching is no fun without players. And it was fun to, to be at Pro Days. It was fun to watch some, some practice, some, some colleges practice uh, prior to those Pro Days. And you know, hopeful that um, you know, we'll have uh, those that choose to show up voluntarily on April 18th. Um, we'll coach whoever comes and you know start start that process and improving it. And it, it, coaching is a lot better when players are around. Mike Vrabel, thank you so much for taking thank the time you. to talk with us. Appreciate it.